Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Shopify starter plan. This is an updated look at the Shopify starter plan. Again, taking a look at the pricing pros and cons, and as well as a tutorial, again, taking a look at the actual Shopify starter plan, what it comes with, and what you can expect from the Shopify starter plans dashboard, exactly what you actually get with the plan. So first and foremost, we're going to be taking a look here at their sales page, again, for the Shopify starter plan, as well as how it does compare to the basic plan. We'll be briefly covering that as well, because I know a lot of you guys are probably like, how do they get this plan so cheap? So addressing the price right away. The Shopify starter plan is currently available at just $5 per month. This is a available with their free trial as well. So you can get started with a free trial. And if you do want to go ahead and sign up and follow along with the video, again, you can go check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial and you can get try Shopify for free. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. So again, taking a look at the Shopify starter plan, you can get started for free. Now, the whole point of this plan is to get people started and you're able to start selling products again for just that $5 a month price range. So how exactly do they do it? So there are a few different reasons and things to understand about the Shopify starter plan. Uh, before you may want to decide with this, or maybe if you just want to go with a basic plan or even other e-commerce platforms as well. Uh, so the nice thing about the Shopify starter plan is you're able to get started with a very basic website and store. Now it is a lot more limited than a full blown Shopify store and what you would expect with other Shopify plans, such as the basic plan uh, as well. So the Shopify starter plan is again, starting to just get you selling. So it's good for people who are brand new beginners, just getting started selling products online. Uh, you're able to sell on social media as well as build out products on your Shopify store. Again, we'll be going through step-by-step -step exactly what that looks like later in this video. Uh, again, showing you the back end and, you know, in just a moment, uh, you can also sell on social media so you can share products on like Instagram, WhatsApp, or, you know, wherever you want to share your products and people can still utilize you know, your Shopify store and that you can utilize the Shopify checkout, uh, which is one of the highest converting checkouts for e-commerce in general, just because it loads so fast and super nice. Um, in addition to that as well, you can use apps as well on the Shopify starter plan. And again, as you can see here, you can monetize your link in bio. So you're able to also use their link pop app if you want to. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that, uh, but that is another option that you do have is you can use the link pop app uh, as well, which I have a whole separate video going over link pop specifically, but in a nutshell, it's essentially just a short website similar to what you would expect with like, uh, all the other link and bio type tools that you, you know, are familiar with, um, that people put on their social media pages. It's essentially just a shortened version of that, you know, similar to like a, a beacons or any of the other types of link shortening apps that, you know, allow you to create like a, like an easy linkable page. Um, that is essentially what the uh, link pop app is. Uh, so, and beyond that as well, you can still manage your orders as well. Uh, you can also, uh, manage your analytics. So you still also do get analytics. You also get customer support. So you can also get, uh, those there as well that you can offer and, and grow your business with. So again, we'll be taking a look at the dashboard in just a moment. Um, and another nice thing about the Shopify starter plan too, is that you're able to start with the cheaper plan and then upgrade later down the road. If you want to, you know, get additional features or, you know, other selling capabilities, you know, to help build out your brand and your Shopify store. So you're able to grow and scale with the starter plan. It does not handicap you in any way as in, you know, you can get the starter plan. You can always upgrade in the future and still keep all your data and your information. Uh, so that's essentially the starter plan as described here. Uh, now, one thing in terms of the cost I do want to touch on as well is that, again, it is just $5 a month. However, the transaction fees are 5% uh, when you use Shopify payments. This is quite a bit higher than a lot of the other Shopify plans. If we take a look even just at the Shopify pricing page, as you can see, the card rates are more traditionally that 2.9 plus 30 cent. Uh, and they do scale cheaper as you go to like the more expensive plans. Um, and that would be the same on the month on the monthly plan, or if you're paying yearly, 
uh, on the basic plan. So that's a big thing to consider in terms of your overall cost. And if we uh, take a look over here at ChatGPT, I did run through a quick break-even analysis as far as how many monthly sales you would need uh, to where it might make sense for you to go with either plan. Uh, so if you do plan on making at least, you know, 11, $1,157 or about like $1,150, you know, depending on maybe $1,200. If you get it above that amount, and this is again on the $29 a month plan, this is if you're paying yearly, uh, you would need to make at least that much money in monthly sales. Um, for the, the both plans to cost the same amount. Again, this is given the 5% transaction fee that you do have on the basic plan or on the uh, starter plan compared to the basic plan, which has lower transaction fees. Uh, so that's where the, you know, if your monthly sales are above this amount, the basic plan becomes more cost effective. If your monthly sales are below this amount, the starter plan is cheaper. And I also ran it through as well if you were paying monthly on the basic plan. So let's just say you had it at $39 a month. Um, then you need to plan to make at least, you know, $1,633 in monthly sales um, for your break even point. So I figured I would throw this in there as well, just in case you're um, very, you know, cost sensitive to the math and how that all works out. That is how it works out if you're comparing starter and basic in terms of the transaction fees. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, 5% transaction fees, that's a lot. Well, that's the numbers that you would need to know whether or not it might be worth it. Now, again, that's not the only reason to choose. Obviously, the feature set is probably the most important thing as well as the cost uh, associated with the plan. In terms of what the starter plan includes, again, you do get a simple online store. You get product pages, contact page, and the checkout. So it is a lot more basic, stripped down. You don't get a full blown website. Uh, you do also get the mobile point of sale. So you are able to accept payments in person. Uh, so you do get that as well. Again, you do get access to link pop, which is their, you know, link and bio tool. Uh, you get access to other Shopify apps as well. So you can install whatever you want as far as Shopify apps. Well, I'll be taking you through that in just a moment. You know, again, link pop, very similar, like a link tree type of thing. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. That's just something that they market. Um, you also have Shopify order management, integrated fulfillment network, of course. Um, you know, that's the, the main thing there, you know, you get a full website, you know, the other features that you would get with a basic plan is like theme editing, blog posts, um, things like that, that are just a bit more advanced. If you want a full blown website, uh, you can still sell in person. Like I mentioned before with their POS light. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the essentials here within the Shopify starter plan. Uh, so in just a moment, I'm going to be taking you through exactly what the Shopify starter plan looks like on the back end and what it looks like, you know, within your free trial. So just give me a second here and we'll be on that in just a moment. Alrighty guys, so we are now in the Shopify starter plan trial. This is exactly what your Shopify store dashboard will look like when you get signed up with the Shopify starter plan. So you will be greeted here on the homepage as a get ready to sell. Uh, and this is sort of like a guide to get you started with your Shopify store. So as far as what is included, as you can see here, uh, you're able to add your products. So we're gonna go ahead and add a product in just a moment, but I do wanna show you what the basic version of the online store will look like again so this is sort of the just trial like as you can see this is what the you know basic version of the store would look like with the example uh, product titles you can also access the cart functionality uh, as you can see the cart is empty we do need to add products to the store in just a second here uh, to show you what it fully looks like on your Shopify starter plan so we're gonna go ahead and add a product here uh, you do also have the choice to import products um, we're just gonna go ahead and add uh, we're gonna call this uh, short t-shirt um, as you can see we're gonna generate um, a description here so we're gonna go yeah organic cotton blue uh color i don't know something like that so we're gonna generate something like that and we're gonna keep that there so we have our description um you know we can also select media um so you can upload you know media like photos and things like that for your product there uh as far as the price we're gonna go with um, $29.99 with the compare at at 40 or something like that. Um, you can charge, you know, you can also put in your total costs of products. So this is where you can track your overall profit margin, things like that. Uh, so maybe you get the item for just $5 and then boom, you can see 
you know your overall profit margin maybe maybe it costs you ten dollars a shirt you're profiting you know nineteen dollars something like that i don't know um you can also track quantities here so this is where you can set your locations uh, if it's a physical product this is important if you're going to be shipping your products which most people will be um, so maybe it's like one pound or something like that uh, you can also add different variants here and you can see like what everything would look like uh, on your store as well you can also add in meta fields not going to be getting into meta fields that's a bit more advanced um, for this tutorial here today uh, so we've got our t-shirt so we're going to go ahead and save the t-shirt product um, boom and now we're going to continue getting things set up uh, you can also, you know, upload your logo, pick your color and add your social media links. So this is where you would go and edit the, again, the very like basic version of your theme. This is um, a much more basic version of Shopify, but you're still able to get through, you know, honestly, the basics of what most people would want out of a Shopify store anyway. Um, so as far as the logo, let's go with something like coffee. I don't know. Maybe it's just... <laughs> Uh, a girl with a coffee cup is going to be the logo for the store. Um, so we'll just go with that for now. Uh, you know, you can edit the logo width, how big you want your logo to be. Um, again, this is not a logo tutorial, just picking something basic here. Uh, you can also change like the background color of your store. So if you want things to be like dark, red, crazy colors, you know, you can go with like a light gray, you can go with a white. Um, you know, the choice is yours as far as what kind of color you can also, you know, customize it here on the pinwheel. Um, maybe let's go with some sort of like light lavender or something. I don't know. Uh, something like that. And you also can change the text color too. So you can go like blue, uh, black, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, you can change the button background. So you can go from yellow to like red. We'll, we'll keep it as red, the button label. Uh, you also have your outline button so you can really get into the color customizations here quite a bit uh, as you can see and then you also have all your social media links now i'm not going to be going through and linking all social media links but that's where you do it you can add you know you know instagram youtube TikTok, uh, x twitter facebook whatever you want uh, on that there uh, we're going to go ahead and click save um, so this is again the spotlight theme that is the basic uh, theme that they do give you again you don't have the same kind of customizations that you would with a regular Shopify store um, it is just a bit more stripped down now we're gonna go ahead and name the store so we're gonna keep this as you know uh, store name you know basic there um, you know this is where you would go to set up your Shopify payments and your shipping rates and you know your plan um, I'm not going to be adding in, you know, Shopify payments in this tutorial. Um, it is pretty straightforward. I do have other tutorials on the channel as well going through, you know, Shopify payments and all of those kind of shipping details. You do have to enter in, you know, your banking information and things like that as well. But that's how you would set things up in order to get paid uh, on your Shopify store. So do, you know, just keep that in mind. It's a pretty simple setup there. Um, so next to actually see what the Shopify store then looks like once you've added a product uh, we do need to actually go back into the product and <laughs> make some inventory available um, because of course we do need um, you know some in stock here uh, so available um, let's just say okay we've got seven available all right right so we've got some stock here you can also track you know um, if you're going to be selling things on point of sale things like that um, so we've got seven in stock here uh, of the short t-shirt uh, now in terms of other aspects of the store you know we're just going to take a look here at the store again just to show you sort of what it looks like uh, you know you go here we don't have an image currently that's why you're not seeing an image uh, but as you can see you have the add to cart button you have the buy it now button so people can still add things to the cart uh, they can go to the checkout page like you still have pretty much everything that you would um, come to expect from a Shopify store um, you know on the even just this basic um, even on this basic like starter plan you know I have to say starter versus basic because I get the basic is the actual regular Shopify plan but yes on the starter plan you do get quite a bit of functionality even just on the basic version of their website here on the starter plan um, so if we go back here uh, in terms of other things that you do get access to again you can also track your orders 
obviously, you're here to make sales. Uh, you can go through, uh, so you can you can create draft orders. You can you know view your shipping labels. You can go through, um, you know, abandoned checkouts are something that is on the upgrade version. So that's something you don't get access to in terms of products. You can manage your, you know, your products and your inventory, um, purchase orders, things like that. Um, as well as gift cards. In terms of customer data, obviously we don't have any customers currently, but you can uh, add customers. You can also import customers too if you're maybe an existing business. Uh, you can set up, you know, adding files and things like that to your store. Uh, you also have your finances. This is where you would go in and track like your overall net sales, profit margin, your overall earnings. This is where, you know, you're going to add in, you know, payout and bank account information. Uh, underneath your Shopify store. Uh, you do also get access to your analytics as well. Uh, you can you know, view different reports. Uh, you have a live view as well, so you can see like current visitors and active carts. Um, obviously, you know, I'm an active visitor on the store right now. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you also get access to the marketing channels as well as discounts too. So you can still create discount codes and things like that. Um, I do have a lot of other tutorials here on the channel. If you want to learn more about any of these other things I have mentioned here in this video, uh, you, again, you have your basic online store. You are limited to that uh, spotlight theme. You're not able, you know, you do have to upgrade plans to go to all the other theme customizations. Um, you do also have your preferences, so you can still set like your homepage, title, meta description. You can still edit the SEO data, um, like your title, things like that for your website there. Uh, you also have access to point of sale, so you can do, you know, POS Lite. I'm not going to be going through that here, but you do have, you know, you are able to sell things in person as well. Uh, and you also get access to their shop app, which... You know, that's just essentially a place where, you know, some people go to shop and you can get listed in their store. Uh, additionally, you can also install apps. So if you are interested in adding other apps, maybe print on demand, maybe you're starting a print on demand business, maybe you're starting a drop shipping business. Um, you know, the choice is yours as far as installing and adding other apps to your Shopify store. Again, even on this starter plan. So you do have access to apps. As you can see here, you can install them and add them to your starter store. Uh, so again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial and video review again of the Shopify starter plan helpful. Uh, if you did, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. And again, if you have not already signed up for Shopify, again, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That will get you started with a Shopify free trial. We can start with Shopify for free today. Again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that was all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.